This is going to be question 19 from section 4. Question type assumption. I promised Bernie that I would answer his question. He asked me whether his project had been approved. I misunderstood and thought he asked whether I approved it. I said truthfully I would approve if it if I could, but I don't have the authority to do so. That is up to Dorothy and she hasn't yet made a decision. Thus, I fulfilled my promise to Bernie. Question. Which one of the following, if assumed, enables the conclusion above to be properly drawn? Promise to Bernie to answer his question. Question. B project have been approved. Misunderstood. Has been project been approved? So the information was misunderstood from has been approved to have been approved or vice versa the have been approved to has been approved authority to approve the project belongs to Dorotha and Dorotha's decision on the B project is still pending so based on the information we're going to have to come up with the uh, proper answer and how to, how will we describe which choice option here is going to be available A. All there is to answering a question is given the information given the question the information requested so basically what that's trying to say is that the questions that are going to be given it has to be given to the questionnaire so i will say yes all bringing question on his project need to be given to dorothy for approval let's see if the other uh, choices are better b no person can be held accountable for another person's decision no sometimes with the power of attorney or power of will you can't be uh have some type of power so that's not going to work for that choice. C, the person responsible for a decision is the one who should explain the decision. Slightly yes, however, the assistant can still help out. D, one needs to fulfill a promise in order to do the best that could be done to fulfill. No, that's going to be contradictory against the information. E, making a promise always obligates a person to keep it. Uh, slightly yes in certain occasions, but it's not going to be um, all the time, so we're going to remove it. So for this question, the correct answer is A. All there is to answering a question is giving the questioner the information requested.